you've broken the tent laws and now they're coming for you. No, but in all seriousness, today we're going to help you learn how to know if your window tent is legal. Stick around to learn the legal tent limit, the fines for breaking the law, the colors you can and cannot use, and even a link to the most complete window tinting directory in the United States. Kansas's tinting laws, established in 1997, offer a detailed framework for vehicle window tinting, balancing safety and personal preferences. Let's explore these regulations in a more conversational manner. Firstly, if you're driving a sedan in Kansas, you're allowed to tint above the ACE-1 line on your windshield. This rule is there to ensure you have clear visibility, which is crucial for safe driving. Moving on to the front side windows. The law is quite specific here. These windows must let in over 35% of light. It's a safety measure, really, to make sure drivers can see well and also to allow law enforcement to see inside the vehicle. Now, when it comes to the backside and rear windshield, Kansas allows 35% darkness for these windows. This flexibility is great for added privacy and protection from the sun, especially in the sunny parts of the state. Interestingly, the laws apply to multi-purpose vehicles as well. So if you're driving an SUV, above the AS1 line can be tinted. The front side windows must allow over 35% light transmission, and you can use any tint darkness for the back side and rear windows. However, there's a catch when it comes to colors. Tints in red, amber, and yellow are a no-go in Kansas. The other colors are typically reserved for emergency and law enforcement vehicles, so it's important to steer clear of them. Now, if you don't follow these rules, you might end up with a fix-it ticket, which usually can result in a fine up to $50 for a first offense, but it's not just about the money. It's about adhering to regulations that ensure everyone's safety on the road. But here's something interesting. Kansas does consider medical needs. If you're looking to get a medical exemption, MyIRx can help assist you to acquire an exemption just over a simple Zoom call. You can find them in a link down below. If you have a condition that requires darker tints, you can get a medical exemption. You'll need a letter from a licensed physician that explains why you need darker window tints. It's a thoughtful provision for those with specific health concerns. So that's a rundown of Kansas's legal tint limits, the color restrictions, and the potential penalties. It's a lot to keep in mind, but it's all about making sure that everyone on the road is safe. If you need more detailed information, don't hesitate to check out the link provided. It's always better to be fully informed, especially when it comes to legal matters like this. Tinting Near Me, your go-to online resource for all your window tinting needs.